I've been working as an x-ray tech for about three years now, and I've been in Penticton for about four. I started off in Penticton as a student back in 2019, and then when I graduated, I applied, got an interview, and I got a job. I was always that kid that was torn between being artsy and being academic. So my two favorite classes back in high school were photography, and I really enjoyed biology. So I thought to myself, what kind of career can I go into that almost meshes both of those interests? And that's why I got into this. This career would be a good fit for those who are both social and are interested in caring for others because a huge part of our job is patient care and patient interaction. Well, the program that I'm taking, which is the x-ray program, so that one is two years, so it's consecutive, so it just keeps going. So for two full years, go throughout the summer. It's hard, but you get used to it, and then once you start your practicum, it really all starts to make sense. This program that I'm in, it just kind of is just general x-ray, so I could branch off into CT mammography. There's quite a few things I could branch off into. When you do your clinical practicum at a site, especially if it's your last level, it does almost serve as a an interview process because this is when they start seeing your work ethic, how you fit into the department. It is indeed like a long interview process at that point. As a clinical instructor, work with all the students going through the medical radiation program when they come out on their practicum. So my job on the floor with them is to ensure that they're learning the skills that they learned in school and turning it practical sense and that they're going to be tech ready when they graduate. You do have to have some sort of sense of like book smarts. A lot of programs will want you to have like these high grades, but it's not always the book smarts that matter. It's your personality, it's how you can carry yourself when you're communicating with patients because patient care is number one. That's why we're in healthcare. We're here to take care of people. Right now there is a high demand for the, for the profession and we're only seeing it increase. Our demand in the field is getting higher. The wage is actually really great, to be honest. Wage-wise, there is definitely a lot of room to grow. The work-life balance can be amazing. Two lakes on either side. I live five minutes from a lake right now, so for me, I get off work at four and I'm down at the beach by five. I love living in a small town, being nestled between two lakes because in the summers you get your choice of lakes to go into. Go swimming, go paddle boarding, go kayaking. There are tons of hiking trails around. In a full-time position, you start with four weeks holidays. Vacation is one of the perks of the career. So when I first started, I started off as a casual and then I got a part-time position. I traveled Europe for like six weeks when I first graduated from my program. You graduate from your program in two years. You're in your early 20s and you're still able to now go to Europe with significant passion. This career allows me to have a comfortable life. I live on my own and I find that I can afford rent while enjoying the little things with my salary. My favorite part of my job is patient care. I come to work to help people and knowing that I'm helping someone, even if it's just listening to them tell their story about maybe what happened to them. It's really rewarding. I love caring for people. I know that when they come into the hospital setting, they're not having the greatest time. And I can either make or break that moment where they feel truly cared for.